Hello and uh, welcome to Tusker on the uh, Commodore 64 and this was about a System 3 game and it came out uh, I think Last Ninja 1 and 2 had already come out uh, and well, I think people thought this was going to be more of the same I'll just speed up the loading a little bit and here we go but as you can see, this is not an isometric game. It's more of a sort of uh, put it a sort of oblique angle. You take control of this this guy, who looks a bit like an Indiana Jones, to be honest. Uh, and we've picked up a gun, but we can't really use it without any bullets. Uh, And then the background's a really great tune by uh, Matt Gray, who did all the music for the game. These Arabs are a bit nasty. There we go. So we get a knife, we can actually start throwing it at them. And it's got the usual sort of System 3 puzzles that, you know, that Last Ninja had and uh, to a certain extent, Myth uh, had, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're normally quite obscure. But uh, if you had, if you bought the game, uh, the manual normally had a, a bit in the back that gave you a hint uh, as to what they all did. And the idea of the game is to find the uh, elephant's graveyard. And uh, there's three levels in total. Uh, this is the desert level. The second one's a sort of uh, jungle. Um, and the third one's a sort of um, well, more of the same, really. But I do like this music, it's a great tune now when it kicks off. Oh, I almost lost my head there. And the puzzle solving, it's, you know, it's, it, as I say, it is a bit obscure at times, but you can. Normally work your way through it. Uh. Oops, just got my head chopped off. Shall magically reincarnate. There we go. The game is quite stingy with the lives, and uh, once you get to level, I think you stay there for a member. Uh. So I think now you can take a drink. I can't remember to do this. Yeah, if you're holding the knife in the water bottle, you can normally have a drink. You need to keep your water uh, levels topped up, as you can see the right hand side there. Just kind of wait to do it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, on to the review. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, I did actually, let's get quick good reviews when it came out, and I did actually uh, have this on cassette. Uh, I, don't know, I wouldn't say I was disappointed. Uh, I mean, I had my hopes up because I was quite a big fan of uh, Last Ninja uh, 1 and 2, but uh, this didn't quite, uh, didn't quite entertain me in the same way. I mean, the music is great in the game, there's no doubt about that, and uh, the graphics are oh, pretty good actually. Uh, nice and atmospheric. I just didn't, I don't find the combat uh, particularly interesting or, or fun to play. I think it's an underground section here, if I remember. There we go. And, uh, you know, and the puzzles, they're not very satisfying to play, to be honest. I don't know if I 
if I've picked it up or not. Oops. There's some water section here. I was hoping to get to the next level, but uh, I'm too rusty at the game, I think. That's a machete, that's quite handy. And some gold. There's a map, oh, it does it show you the um, rest of the level, how to get to the end of it. And I already know that. Yeah, so I, I wasn't too enthralled with this game. Uh, it's not bad, uh, but um, there are quite a few bugs. Uh, not too evident in the first level, but uh, mostly in the second and third level. The occasional bug pops up and stops you completing the game. Uh, so it wasn't it wasn't tested uh, that well. And some of the puzzles are, are a bit. A bit of shit, they don't, really just don't make any sense, but uh, I think we can. We may have to get some more water now. There's definitely a tree that we can, we can drink the water from. Oh, I can't remember. It's too bloody long since I played it. Just get frustrating now playing it, but uh, yeah. So I'll give this. Uh, I think it's quite a, it's quite an average game. It's well below System 3's uh, normal high standards. Uh, I give it five and a half. Give it five and a half out of ten. I think uh, just. Um, I just don't think it's that great a game, despite the um, decent graphics and uh, you know great music. Uh, just the game itself. It's just not that much fun to play, to be honest. Um, yeah, five and a half out of ten. Uh, see you in the next video.